It, it is an investigation of masculinity and our definitions of a Marlboro man type never show weakness versus vulnerability. Brad Pitt. I bet just saying the name, three of his movies pop up into your head as you swoon over him. But what do you think makes Brad Pitt a great actor instead of just a good one? For me, it's his portrayal of masculinity and vulnerability and how it comes out of every role he does. I've always been fascinated by Brad's work, but not until recently I've been able to pinpoint why I like him so much. His ability to give characters real contrast, a window into their vulnerability while balancing the rough and tough exterior of all his characters. Maybe each character is a bit of an asshole, but he gives them a humanistic and a comedic side to them, such as Fight Club. Mother you hit me in the ear. All these roles are role models for them to look up to. Each character has the weight of his responsibility luring over him, like saving a baseball team in Moneyball with Jonah Hill and his statistics, and Fury staying behind also knowing he won't make it, but to take out as many Nazis and go down swinging. Fight Club, it's him pushing Edward Norton to not be afraid and to live life to the fullest at any cost necessary. How in each of them there's a turning point that changes the course of the remainder of the character the shift of going all in. In Troy, it's his decision to go into battle knowing he'll probably die. In Moneyball, it's using Jonah's statistic knowing it's crazy, but he's got nothing left to lose. In Fury, it's taking the young soldier under his wing, molding him into the soldier he needs to be to survive. In Benjamin Button, it's his kid being born and him running off because he believes he'll never be the father that they'll need due to his reversing age. In Fight Club, how Edward Norton's subconscious creates Tyler to become the man that he wishes he could be. You were looking for a way to change your life. You could not do this on your own. All the ways you wish you could be, I'm free in all the ways that you are not. The exact opposite of who he really is. Soft, scared of what others think, and a byproduct of his society. Where Tyler goes against the grain, draws outside the lines, and doesn't care what others think. Brad Pitt gives these characters a confidence only he himself could do. We see most of his confidence come out in Ocean's Eleven. Running away with your wife. A role that calls for a slick and confident man. And who's up for the job? You guessed it. Brad mother Pitt. In Ocean's Eleven, we see Brad Pitt, dare I say, have too much fun in the role. Which the point of, is he really acting? When that perfect hand comes along, you bet big. And then you take the house. I've been practicing this speech. A little bit. Did I rush it? It felt like I rushed it. was good. I liked it. His sweet baby blue eyes are really what speak to me as many actors' eyes do. But what's going on up in that handsome head of his? Brad has mastered the craft of having his body say one thing where his eyes say the complete opposite. He's always discovering something and fighting when his head tells him what is right and what's wrong. But where are we drawn to the most? Okay, let's try actors and roles for 100, please. Brand new category. You're right again. Select. Uh, you got it. His eyes. It tells us everything. A lot of Brad's masculinity comes from his body language. Standing at 5'11 with his strong gait, we sense before he's even spoken his level of confidence. How he's always relaxed, often eating something. Seeing how cool he is by not giving a damn. He's got a playfulness to him that just reels you in the more and more you watch him. It's why he's so good in Fight Club, Moneyball, Ocean's Eleven, Troy, Fury, the assassination of Jesse James, and a river runs through it. Another color of Brad is his ability to have comedy come through his roles. Add that up and you get... You want me to speak? I'm gonna point you again. But what can he do? Guys. Check your reports or I'm gonna point at people. Get on base. Get on base. Where I think his comedy comes out most is, he basically just makes fun of himself. He's the exact opposite of what most characters he plays. He's an airhead, foolish, awkward, and not a leading man at all. You f Osborne? Osborne Cox? Um, is this Osborne Cox? I'm a good Samaritan. I'm sorry I'm calling at such an hour. 
Brad never holds back. And where I truly think his strong suit is, is in his vulnerability. How he hides himself when he cries, such as in Legends of the Fall. How he covers half his face when his wife is killed in a car crash. Watch as we push in, in fury. He hides from his own emotions, almost as if he doesn't want these emotions and chokes them down to hide from the camera and hiding from his true emotions, from the men looking up to him, being the strong, silent soldier he needs to be. How in Seven, his eyes tearing up and having a physical reaction of, What's in the box? What's in the box? No! 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 Almost sick like kneeling over to puke when his gears turn in his head and finally comes to the realization of what's really in the box. What's in the box? Only making us lean in on our seats, wanting to know more. Brad brings everything to the table. He doesn't hide from the camera, he actually leans into it, using his angles to enhance the acting and portray what he's thinking. It's not about just the emotion. He's letting us know what's on his mind by not telling us, but by showing us. It's not just telling us what's in the script, but what's in between the lines the subtext. He balances the fine line of a strong, confident man and a person who has feelings that bubble to the surface. Brad is able to hold himself together while people look up to him, thinking he's unbreakable. But he's not. He's human, just like them. He hides his emotions, letting them bottle up, building over time, but it slowly leaks out. Brad lets us see his emotions through his eyes. He lets us in on the secret as the audience. We all try to create an image of ourselves, either that to be the stoic one, the cool one, the smart one. We all try our best to shelter ourselves and create the perfect image. Brad shows us that vulnerability is just a part of life. It's not something to be hidden away. Brad tries to cover up his emotions, but they always come through in the end. That's what makes him such a great actor. That's the great balance of Brad Pitt's masculinity and vulnerability.